Welcome to session 8 of our Alto restoration and we got an important package here. It's, it's an original disc box. Oh wow. Uh, so. Inside. Vintage disc, vintage box. With vintage foam. We have, we have a diagnostic boot disc from the Living Computer Museum in Seattle. So thanks to them for providing this. We can now try it out and see if the system will actually boot up. And so the, the idea is that we think the Alto is, is reading correctly, but the disc we had in there wasn't the boot disc. All right. And then somebody will have to press the little red button. That's Ed's job. Oh, good grief. Okay, you give me a countdown or I'll give you a countdown. And it is three, two, one, zero. And nothing happens. I think we are catching all the bits of <laughs> the alto. We don't have a part left. So we didn't boot, we are all thoroughly disappointed and uh, we tried a couple of times and the traces seem, seem consistent so we are in the process of dumping the trace and uh, so uh, that Ken can analyze it later. So, okay, so I'm got, got it, got it, yes. So either bed cylinder, bit error, or, or for some reason it's recorded as an eight there when it's not. So so say that say that again, Ken. So you when you read the label, we have the wrong label for the yeah, so uh, for the a sector. Header, the header. There's yeah, three the records in a sector. The first is called header. It's two words, mm -hmm. which is, should be just the address. Of what of the sector? Okay, but that's a convention. That right, 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 right. I understand. And we are. This address is wrong. Or? Yeah. So can analyze the trace of the non-booting disk, and it it says that it's on reading cylinder eight, which it shouldn't. It should stay on cylinder zero. So here. We open the disc up, and so you can see on which cylinder it is. And it's on zero right now, but we haven't booted yet. Uh, is it ready? Wait, it's ready? Yeah. Ed, why don't you press the... Re Three, two, one, go! Yeah. And Ken, you are right. It did jump to cylinder eight, so we have something weird here. I just noticed this on the cable. There's a, an exposed wire right here. And it looks like we crunched it here. I can't understand when it happened, but it did. Let's check that. So we uh, checked the cable that looked bad, but actually the cable looks good. So now we have hooked ourselves up to the lines that uh, define the seek to cylinder 8 and see if the computer is actually sending the wrong information to the disk. Hold a second. Okay, ready here. Ready all around? Yeah. Three, 
Oh, oh, it's it's. No, we, 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 went, we, went, we went down. We went down here. Oh, he's, he's, he's gone. He's gone. Like we, oh, the the, the cursor. Yeah, the, the arrow. He's booting. He's booting. booting. Yeah. <laughs> he's booting, guys. So what did I do with the darn cable? <laughs> <laughs> Just the uh, connecting. He's connecting. Well, that's a good one. So what did we do differently? We just removed the cable and put it, plug it back in? So, do you want to plug Stick something in? Stick into it. Okay. We, we really... It was the voodoo. Very tight, it, maybe it was just it. needing to be very uh, tight. I mean, so you see, Xerox Auto Executive 12, date and time unknown, 728 pages. This oh. user dot cm as a non-standard parameters. You have non-standard parameters, uh, Ed. <laughs> <laughs>
So there's maybe one instruction that's not running correctly. Oh. Yeah, it looks like yeah. So yeah, our Alto finally boots. Uh, took a while, and uh, we can run a few programs, uh, and uh, we're all ecstatic. Uh, but we're not out of the woods quite yet. Uh, it crashed on a few of the programs. Bravo didn't work, and in particular, it crashed on uh, some of the basic uh, micro instruction tests. So. Uh, we have uh, more work to do. I'm a little bit concerned that um, we don't know exactly uh, why the disk uh, jumped to sector 8 for a while. It's related to the cable, but is there an intermittent fault in the cable or the card? We don't know, but if there is, it will reappear. So, uh, very good progress, and uh, there will be more work needed uh, until it is fully functional. See you next time!